Hi everybody, this is Peggy here. Um, I think I'm on day 66 or something like that of my 100 day challenge. And um, tonight I am going to go out, really nice restaurant, have a special dinner with my husband and it is a, to celebrate our 32nd wedding anniversary because I'm pretty much guaranteed, I'm pretty much thinking I won't be around um, um, I won't be around the, um, on, on our anniversary. So we were married 32 years ago on July 10th, 1976 in Birmingham, England. My husband is originally from England. He's now a, um, American citizen. Well, um, every time when I talk, I try to think of something that I would like to like focus on and, um, I don't know, I think it's happiness. I'm pretty sure, just like me, all of you want to be happy and part of your 100 day challenge, whether you specifically say so or not, is happiness. And um, I really believe that um, this challenge has been really an amazing, amazing challenge for me because when I started this, I was not a happy camper. Um, I'm happy now, and I think along the line of happiness, I want to talk about resistance. And because it's my anniversary, I'm going to use that to um, my marriage to kind of talk about that. Um, marriage is probably the hardest thing I've ever done in my entire life because I didn't know what to expect. I didn't realize um, what have so much there's so much it's like living with yourself but not really um, I know that happiness is within me happiness is not for my husband it's not from all out there it contributes and I'm grateful for all the gifts that I have in my relationship with my parent with my um, husband with my sisters with my children with my grandchildren that is all it you know it it brings me a happy feelings, but on this 100 day challenge, on my, vi on my vision board, one of the things that I have is the journey within. And um, I have to tell you that in order for me to be happy, I have to change my whole perspective. And I have been. I have been cleaning my mind out, um, literally, with affirmations from Louise Hay. Every, I haven't done it lately and I need to get back doing it but I say, I am willing to change. And um, other things, I am beautiful, I am um, capable, just, you know, affirmations like that. That brings me happiness, resistance to happiness, and not even knowing it. Okay, when my husband and I were separated, he had caused me pain. Well, I, I don't even like to put it that way. We had had some issues that caused us both pain. And we didn't really know how to deal with it, to be quite honest. And um, we kept reflecting, we kept, you know, saying, oh, it's about him, or he would say it's about her. And um, I totally realize now that um, I had to, I had to do the pros and the cons of divorce or, or staying married. And for instance, I would see his email, his name in my email, and I would get this thrill. I would get this spark, it was like, oh my gosh. Because honestly, after 32 years being married to him, I still think he's really hot. I mean, he's got these awesome green eyes that I wrote about before I even met him. And they turn me on. It's like, they're so sexy. And um, he says that he has a spark when he's with me and I believe it. But I'm changing my thoughts about him. For instance, when old issues come up in my mind and, and, and it, it can, it can create thoughts of fear or thoughts of insecurity. I tell myself, I'm using the Sedona method, if any of you are familiar with that. I say, you know, it's just a feeling. And I take deep breaths. Okay, um, am I willing to allow it to be there? And um, I have to tell myself, yes. <clears throat> no, I don't have to, but I do. I say, okay, yeah, I'm gonna allow this to be here. And I think the next question is, 
could I let it go? Do I want to let it go? Yes. Anyway, it's all this method about releasing. And once I release the fear and realize that it's going to pass, that it's my thoughts, it's not necessarily true, happiness comes back to me. Peace comes back to me. Um, every day I'm releasing. I'm releasing feelings that come to me, whether it be about my relationship or about myself or about anything or about the future or the past. Um, years ago, as um, before I was even married, there was this um, poem by George MacDonald called The Little Girl That Lost Things. And it starts with, there was a girl that lost things not only from her hand, she lost indeed why most things as if they had been sand. And he starts out with, um, she loses a doll to finally she loses her life. And she, it said he, something about, and then she lost herself. Um, but that she gave away, and God upon his shelf it carefully did, did lay. And with it she lost her losses, her something in her grieving, and something, 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 and all th things not worth keeping. And it, as she gave herself away and lost, and in giving herself away she lost her losses and all things not worth keeping, she found the things that she had lost, but they were different. They were cleaner they were better and that's the paradox of happiness that's the paradox of life in my opinion so um, today is a special day as is every day but today I'm gonna celebrate my 32nd year with this man that I call my husband this sexy nice guy nice guy um, he could have been with another woman and it was scary I could have been with another man um, but no I mean I really had to say to myself Peggy what what if he's with another woman? Are you going to be able to handle it? No. No, I don't want to handle it. And the whole time he kept telling me, you're the one that I want. Um, and he said he couldn't see himself without me. But he had finally gotten off of the codependent type of thing that he had for me and realized he loved me, that he really, but that he really could live without me. And that was the paradox, too, because... Um, the whole thing was my decision anyway, and I, I asked him if he would come back on Father's Day, and he was so happy. We're happy! So, that's my story today, and I hope you guys have a great day. Um, Monday, I am going to leave for vacation, and I'm either going to be gone a week or a whole month, and in any case, I won't be able to video blog, but when I get back, Hopefully I can video blog, but I, you will definitely hear the end of the story. So I love you guys. Keep on keeping on and just wait for those things, those intentions, because they're going to come to you. I guarantee it. And it's amazing to watch. So bye-bye, guys. Have a good Saturday night.